Today was the start of the second stage of the Tianyou De Tour of Qinghai Lake 2013 for the first climbing stage of this year's tour. Here in Guida, we're looking at heavy skies, but we're also checking with John Epson to see what he says. Any people you're going to be watching for today? Especially Tabriz, Miss Barney, and number 65, also this team. Um, yeah, number 131. <laughs> he looks really tiny, and I want to keep an eye on him. Got it. One of the other main competitors, Hossein Askari. He's from uh, stage 2 to stage uh, 8. I think every stage is important. And also in Chin High Lake, every stage in top the high lake is very dangerous because every day also have wind. Every day have every day we can change every day everything. You know, if something not so good tactic, I think lose everything. If, if something take yellow jersey, but he don't do the good tactic, maybe lose anything, maybe lose everything. <laughs> From the start in Hudze, we are at 2,500 meters, we drop down to 2,200 meters, and at 35 kilometers we have sprint number one. After another 35 kilometers, we have sprint number two, and then we start the climbing in earnest, going up to a high point of 3,786 meters before dropping down the final 50 kilometers all the way down to 2,200 meters once again, giving those quads a nice long rest. The elevation could be a factor in today's race, so let's see how it pans out. 100,000 cheering spectators watched in the neutral zone as the 150 riders rolled out from the start. Assisted with a tailwind, they were cruising along at 50 kilometers an hour, and after 20 minutes of racing, a six-man break ended up forming off the front. The temperature was perfect for riding along, and at the first sprint, Wu Peilun of the Qinghai Tianyou De cycling team Crossed the line first. Local motivation was a powerful force in getting him across the line first. The peloton continued its cruise as the breakaway gained almost nine minutes today before the big climb. The six-man break, although powerful, was just a decoy while they waited for their climbers to refresh and get ready to hit the slopes. Before sprint number two, we started to hit the rolling hills of the Qinghai district, and the weather started to close in as well. Sprint number two was won by Luis Masbonet, and as the break continued their climb, the commissar wired ahead to see what the weather was. Ugh, it did not look good for the riders. At the base of the King of the Mountain, we had the same six riders away, one man short in the breakaway as they hit the fog. At five degrees and 20 yards of visibility, things looked grim. But Hossein Halazare ended up coming over the top. The winner of the 2012 Tour of Qinghai Lake and also the King of the Mountain winner took the first mountain points. The downhill was treacherous with many hairpins, wet roads, and exceptional danger. With 57 kilometers of beautiful scenery around them, the riders were in no mood to be sightseeing. Six men broke away at 25 kilometers to go, and they held a slim lead until Crossing the Yellow River, the peloton was in hot pursuit. David De La Fuente had power to spare as he was breaking away from his breakaway companions and with moves that would put Michael Jackson to shame and exuberation that could light a small city, he crossed the line with two bike links ahead of his breakaway companions. Crossing the line in second place was Massimo Graziato from Lampre Merida. Baburzi was in third place. As our stage winner was surrounded by happy teammates, we were able to get in a couple questions to find out what were his tactics over the race. My plan was to keep a solid, steady climbing tempo and remain in contact as climbing is not my forte. I had good legs on the downhill and felt as if I could go on attack when the chance arose. I joined the breakaway with 25 kilometers and with four kilometers ago, I was sure well, pretty sure I could win. The podium girls are like nowhere else you'll find. And they welcomed the stage winner with a winning bouquet and a bottle of champagne to blast into the crowd. All three of them literally showered the cameramen, causing great anguish. The blue jersey for best Asian rider was won by Daniel Forminka. 
King of the Mountain was last year's winner, Hossein Alizadeh. Maz Bonet picked up the green points jersey due to his first place finish in the second sprint and getting eighth in the stage. The yellow jersey is David De La Fuente. Look at that champagne go! The general classification is still pretty tight after the second stage with David De La Fuente in first, Massimo Graziano in four seconds, and Thomas Babruzzi. Join us tomorrow for the Stage 3 China Construction Bank Guaido to Qinghai Lake stage, another over-category climb, and another bunch of serious racing out here in China. From Qinghai Lake in CyclingCN.com, I'm Sean Nagel. See you tomorrow. Cycling